appreciate y'all. And I appreciate y'all messing with the vids, bro, because if y'all didn't like it, then I wouldn't be here, bro. So I really do appreciate y'all. We about to hit 500 subs before Christmas. I started this channel right before December. So Vlogsmas was really the start of the channel. And to hit 500 in a month, y'all, y'all don't understand how much that means, man. That means so much. So I appreciate y'all, man, I really do. Whatever you're doing in life, keep grinding, keep working, bruh. Today, we really just gonna be talking. Today, I'm gonna just chop it up with y'all boys. Put y'all boys on some games, some life advice. Something that I wish I could know, especially to my young people, man. My people that are like 15, 16 watching this. Things I wish I could know, man. First off, bro, whatever you wanna do in life, start it as early as possible as early as possible, bruh. I don't care how old you is, start it now, because whenever you do succeed, the only thing you're gonna be saying is, man, I wish I started early. Because I remember I used to wanna do YouTube when I was in high school. But in high school, I remember this one girl, she started a YouTube channel and got bullied, bruh. I'm talking about people were just pulling up her video in class, laughing, and I seen that and I was like, man, I'm not starting no YouTube channel. I was like, man, I'm not starting no YouTube channel. So ever since then, you know what I'm saying? I, I threw it under the rug to start a YouTube channel until uh, college. And then I started it then. But ever since I, ever since the day I started, it was like, man, imagine I started in high school because I would have started two years earlier if I started in high school. And what I realized was when I started in college, people still talked, you know what I'm saying? I was waiting to start in college. I didn't want to start in high school because I didn't want nobody to talk about my channel. I didn't want to be made fun of. So I waited and eventually it happened anyways. You know what I'm saying? People going to talk, people going to try and diss, try to hate and all that stuff. So it made me think, bro, regardless of when you start, people is going to talk about you regardless. So you might as well start early and get it out the way. Because imagine if I started two years earlier, like I always think about that. That's mind blowing. A lot of your favorite YouTubers, bro, and a lot of my favorite YouTubers, they started years ago and they now just blew up. Stuff takes time. Stuff takes a long time, especially this YouTube stuff. I'm now just, just slightly getting something, bro. 500 subs in a month is more than I've ever gotten in all four years I've been doing YouTube. So it's like to see that much success in one month, I just gotta keep telling y'all, man, keep going. Because those months when I was getting not even a hundred subs in a month, the time when it took me six months to get a hundred subs, I could have quit during those months and I was this close to, I was this close to quitting. I was this close to saying, you know what? YouTube ain't for me, man, I'm done with it. Imagine if I did that, bro. I wouldn't even be here now. I wouldn't be able to have experienced this if I quit, man. So whatever you're doing in life, you cannot quit. You gotta keep going, bro. The one thing that people don't understand, guy is just in the way one thing that people got to understand is that in life you cannot take no breaks bruh you got to just keep going and going and going and going there is no all something went wrong i quit that's not going to accomplish nothing if you quit today you will never be able to accomplish anything more than what you accomplish now but if you keep going, you can continue to accomplish things. You get what I'm saying? You gotta keep going. You gotta keep grinding. You gotta keep striving. Because with that being said, bro, how much days we got left in the year? We got less than 10 days left. It is the final 10 seconds of the year, bro. Right now, are you gonna come in clutch? There's 10 days left in the year, bro. It's the final 10 seconds, bro, on the shot clock. Are you coming in clutch? Are you grinding every single day? Because, bruh, these are the last moments of 2023. How are you going to finish 2023? Are you going to finish 2023 strong? Because we got 10 days left, bruh. Are you taking advantage of all 10 days? Or are you just, are you just saying, oh, I'm going to just wait till New Year's. My New Year's resolution. I'm going to be better in 2024. What are you waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for, for real? What is you waiting for, bruh? You gotta get off your ass, but you gotta grind, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You gotta grind. We got 10 days left. What are you gonna do with it? Me personally, 
I'm working on, you know what I'm saying, just staying consistent on waking up and staying on the same routine every day. You feel me? Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, waking up, like waking up really dictates your day. If you didn't know that, waking up your morning really dictates your day. If you have a good morning, you are such a higher chance of having a better day in general. But if you have a sloppy morning, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have those days. I be struggling with that a lot. One of my biggest struggles is uh, probably procrastination, bro. You know what I'm saying? Waking up and then saying, oh, I got hella time. I even woke up early today. You know what I'm saying? There's even still some days where I be battling with it. You feel me? The spirit of laziness. But you know what I'm saying? We got to get rid of that, bro. Especially, especially with the new year coming up. Especially with the new year coming up, bro. It's time now to get rid of all these things. So when the year starts, you're starting, you're starting fresh, bro. You're starting, you're up and going. And just think about it, bro. If you kept up with the channel, man, and you've been continuing to just go better and better, you already ahead of the game, bro. Most people aren't starting anything new, any good habit or anything until 2024. So you have like a week and a half to... Be ahead of everybody. You have the opportunity to be ahead of everybody if you just put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Some people are, and those are the people that's going to be ahead. A lot of people ask, why is this person up? Why is this person, you know what I'm saying, doing better than me? But if you were to see their real day-to-day -day life, you would see that they're working every single day. I seen this one thing on Instagram. It was like, you don't ever see, you know what I'm saying? You don't see your... uh you don't see you don't see your parents talking about oh i'm tired i don't feel like working so i'm not gonna go to work you don't see them people say that so why are you saying oh i'm tired i'm not feeling well so i'm not gonna put in no work i'm not gonna go to the gym you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna work on my business i'm just gonna lay down and be tired no right no one is like like why why like for what bro you know what i'm saying you're acting like these days aren't limited you're acting like time waits Time waits for no man, bro. You got to get up and get to it. You got to get up and work, bro. Because I promise you, if you're not working, somebody is. We talked about in the Bible how if you don't use your talent, God going to give it to someone else that is using it. Because, bro, you want to start a YouTube channel. You want to, you know what I'm saying, start streaming. Whatever you want to do. You want to start a business. You think you're the only one that wants to do that? Hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but we all, you know, you see how everybody has a, golly, you see how everybody has the same dreams? Well, guess what? People are working on their dreams as you want to work on yours. So all the days that you're saying, oh, nah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, nah, I'm going to do another day. I'm tired. I'm tired. There's a person down the street with the same goals as you, same dreams as you that's putting in that work every day. And he's going overtime because he's saying it's the end of the year. I want to finish strong. So some people gonna get ahead of other people. And for my people that are grinding, because over here we be grinding, bro. Over here we're grinding. We're not the people that just sit around and talk and talk and talk and talk. No, we be grinding, bro. For my people that be grinding, man, just know most people fail really quick, man. Most people fail extremely quick. Most people, after three weeks of doing something, they're over it. You see, look, a lot of people that started Vlogsmiths are not here. A lot of people that started Vlogsmiths are not here, man. What does that tell you, man? You feel me? If As long as you keep going, bro, it's all about consistency. I didn't really, like, always heard about it, but until this Vlogsmiths, I really learned it's all about consistency. Because as I've been more consistent and really posting, it's about consistency and quality. If you can put up the best effort that you can every single day, and you put it up every single day, you're only gonna move one step forward. If you don't put, oh my gosh, why y'all get there? If y'all don't move with quality steps, you're like, you know what I'm saying? You're just taking little nudges. You're not really gonna move, but if you take quality steps every single day, you know what I'm saying? For me, Vlogsmith, posting quality videos every day. If I'm just throwing something out there, I can't expect it to do well. I can't complain that I'm not getting views if I'm throwing out trash videos. You get what I'm saying? Every video got to have some kind of value. But for you, it can be anything, bro. You can't go to the gym and lift two pound dumbbells and say, oh, 
I did my workout for, for today. Oh, I did my workout for today. That doesn't work. You get what I'm saying? You got to actually put in that work. If you're saying, oh, I'm working on my business today, and all you did was watch YouTube videos about, I don't know, the most random things, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're working on the website or in logo and stuff like that, instead of actually building the website, you get what I'm saying? Stuff like that. A lot of times we focus on the things that don't matter and put so much effort into it. For example, for me, what really matters on YouTube is the video, duh. But when I was procrastinating starting this channel, I'm worrying about the channel art, making sure my logo, I gotta get the right picture. That stuff does not matter. So make sure when you're spending these hours and hours, you're spending it on the right time. I understand reading books is nice. I understand writing in your journal, whatever you guys be doing is nice. But don't be spending 10 hours on reading these books and the business that you wanted to start in the first place, you haven't even touched it. You get what I'm saying? There is priorities to this stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, especially with this self-improvement stuff, um, because I fell into it too, man. There was days where I'm reading, you know what I'm saying? Three, four books a day and I'm feeling super accomplished. But at the end of the day, I didn't work on no videos. I didn't help my business at all. So it was like, I did something, but at the end of the day, I really didn't. You gotta make sure you're taking those quality steps if you wanna progress in the right things. Progression is all about where you put your mind. You feel me? If you want to be the smartest person and all you want to do is read books, then that's what you're going to get. You're going to be hella smart because you read those books. If you want to have a great business and all you do is spend your time on business, then guess what? You can have a great business. If you want to be the next big YouTuber and you spend all your time creating videos, then guess what? You're the next big YouTuber creating videos. It's all about where you put your time, where you put your energy. What do you want to put your energy into? What do you want to become? Do you want to become bigger? Then you got to spend those hours in the gym. There's no other way around it, bro. That's how it works. Like, what do you want to be known as? What do you want to be? And just progressively do that thing. It's just as simple as that. Literally just say, what do you want to be? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be... A, a gym nerd like what do you want to do bro and then just focus all your time in that aspect you get what i'm saying so if you want to be an entrepreneur okay what do entrepreneurs do and put try to make as much as time as possible in that area and you can only progress in that thing it's like it's impossible not to succeed a lot of people don't understand it's almost impossible not to succeed succeeding is not easy let me let me, let me not act like it's not easy let me not act like it's not hard. Of course it's hard, but the concept is not hard. The concept is literally just pick what you want to be and progressively get better at it and stay consistent and you will succeed in whatever you do. That is damn near the keys to life, bro. And that's the free game, bro. Literally, whatever you do in life, just continually do it, but progressively get better. A lot of times, um, we just like, we think show it, just showing up is okay. I'm sorry, but if you want to grow quickly, just showing up is not good enough. You got to show up and be better than you was last time. You get what I'm saying? You got to actively get better. Otherwise, you're going to consistently be in the straight line. You're not going to grow nowhere. You got to consistently get better, consistently grow. And you going to get there, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You can't quit. You can't give up. Because I'm just thinking back, if I did quit on this YouTube stuff years ago, I would have never seen these days. You get what I'm saying? And that 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 goes to all areas in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all in school, a lot of y'all saying, man, I just want to get an A in class. If you continuously study, you continuously get better in those classes, eventually you're going to get them good grades. It's only a matter of time. That's the. It's really only a matter of time before you get to where you want to be. Like literally, bro, for like my e-commerce people, bro, it's literally just the next product. The next product can make you a millionaire. The next video can make you viral. You know what I'm saying? The next, you know, anything, bro. The next art piece you make can make you the next big thing. Like anything you do, bro, you are one away. So you got to put your all into it at all times. Because imagine if you blew up for something that you don't even want to be known for because it wasn't your best effort. Come on now. Now you messed up yourself, bro. You feel me? And I want to say you was almost there, bro. You was almost there. Just keep going. Keep grinding keep thriving and eventually you will get there man 
you will get there eventually. I'm about to hit 500 subs in a month. In a month, two weeks ago, I was saying, damn, we hit 100 subs. On December 10th, we hit 100 subs. 10 days later, we about to hit 500 subs. This is insane. I hit 400 yesterday. Yesterday, I hit 400, bro. God is good. God is amazing. Keep working. Keep grinding, bro. If you want to get to this level, I want to tell you. Like this, that's the only thing that matters, bro, is you working. Is you put in the work because you can't complain if you're not putting in the work. You can't complain if you're putting in the work because if you're really putting the work, if you're really putting in the work, then you understand that your time will come. You just got to keep going, bro. And that's how life is at the end of the day, man. If you keep going and if you keep working, because I promise you, only 10% of people actually make it to where they want to be. Something like that. And it's for a reason, because only 10% are willing to put in the work every single day. So which one are you, man? Are you the one that's going to put in the work every single day? Or are you the one that's just going to complain and stay on the sidelines? You let me know.